Hello friends, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink with these really fun snowman cards, which disclaimer before I begin, as of doing the voiceover, this wafer die set is sold out at Simon Says Stamp. This is a twig and stump thinlets die set from Tim Holtz. The only way to get it right now is if you get the huge bundle with Tim's entire Christmas release. It is... It's a hefty bundle. I'll have a link to it. <clears throat> However, um, this die set, yeah, currently sold out. They are working on trying to get it restocked. We'll see. I wanted to get this video up regardless. There is a promotion going on for Cyber Monday and as long as supplies last, and I know they stocked up, for Chili and Freezy. <laughs> I think that's what they called them. And they're so cute. It is a little free die set that you would get with um, a purchase of $25 or more of Tim Holtz products. Again, I'll have a link below. And that applies to any Tim Holtz products that Simon carries, which they carry like all of them. So you don't need a code. It just gets added. And it's basically just smaller versions of these little snowmen. So these ones are actually quite big and you'll see by the end because um, I make A2 cards with them. So anywho, this is a big die set. Die sets like this, I more often than not, I find very intimidating. That's why I kind of put off creating with it. But once you lay everything out, and that's what I did. I took all the dies from the set and I laid them out and I was like, okay, I get it. I get, you know, there's the base for the snowman and then there's like different versions of the snowman and then all the little accessories. So once I had everything laid out, I went through all my scraps and I just made piles, as you can see here on my work surface, because I was going to die cut like multiples because I was like, might as well make several at once because a lot of these die cut multiples at the same time, like their they're little, they're little twig arms, um, it's two dies that die cut like six each, you know, things like that. Same with the, their little carrot noses, a die that does six pieces, those sorts of things. So I made all these little piles for the different little wafer dies on my desk again with just scraps and then I just die cut and die cut and die cut and, and on again it did not take very long and then all my die cuts I put I have these little pinch bowls there's the text on the screen they're just meant little pinch bowls meant for spices they're great for this in a previous video I showed um using like a cupcake baking tray or a muffin tin that works great too uh things like that there's little little ways to kind of keep things contained so my little pinch bowls I just dumped all the little die cut pieces for the different snowmen and I was just looking at the packaging and I was like okay the scarf goes with the tall snowman aka twig and all the little accessories so I just had them in that bowl and then I just start assembling after I did all my die cutting and I die cut more than I needed because I was just going to town with this <laughs> Honestly, again, when it comes to like die sets like this or when there's like multiple pieces and it feels a world, my biggest struggle is just getting out of my own head and not overthinking it. It's like just, nope, just, just die cut, just nope, nope. Because then of course my head, I was like, oh, I could do this. I could do this, like texture paper. Like, you know, I'm just like the wheels keep turning and I start thinking about 15 other ideas and then I overwhelm myself and I'm like, I don't want to do it. So <laughs> I just kept telling myself, I was like, no, just assemble just die cut what you've got assemble and then go from there you know if I want to add to it or whatever so I've of course sped this up heavily in editing um but again it didn't really take too long as they start coming together it's like oh I get it I get where this goes I get how this works you know and I also didn't overthink like their little accessories because again I die cut all these little pieces from just scraps of cardstock I went with like a, just a colorful theme and I just layered it all up because I'm like, they're snowmen. Who cares if their accessories match? Like, and that's also half the fun, you know? So reverse tweezers also good friend with assembling and holding because, you know, some of these pieces are fairly small. And then my adhesive, uh, my craft tacky glue, I've got the fine tip on it, which okay, disclaimer, I don't know, did ThermoWeb discontinue those fine metal tips? Because that's what I've been linking to and using. And then I went to order more because I broke this one after all these years. I literally dropped the bottle on the floor. And I've got a little bit of carpet in here, but I work in my garage. 
and it's cement floor underneath. And I knocked the very fine piece. It's just a little piece. It's weird. Anyway, um, so I went to order another one and it doesn't exist on the cyber store. And then I, you know, I Googled it too because, you know, things get discontinued or they stop carrying things if they don't sell them. And it doesn't look like Thermal Web makes it anymore. So I'm kind of sad. So yeah, I've linked to another one by, I think it's Art Glitter that looks almost the same because people do ask me about that fine tip a lot. And I literally just, it came as a little tip. It's got a bit of threading on the inside of it and I just screwed it on to my um, craft hacky glue. So anyway, anyway, <laughs> the trials and tribulations. Um, <laughs> assembling these, again, it was easy. I just, I, I just looked at the packaging. There are, I think, documents and things online. I'm not even 100% sure because I know like some of Tim Holt's die sets are incredibly detailed you know an incredible amount of pieces all of that but they have um I think their dog you would just have to go on his website and I'm sure that like you know that he's got all him and all his people you know helping and making things easier and all that stuff but with this set I didn't feel the need to try and look anything up I just again I looked at the packaging and yeah there there's the different versions like especially of stump here this is stump and he's super cute. And there's three versions of him. That's the white pieces. You know, so there's one where he's looking up, one where he's kind of looking down, one where he's sort of looking sideways. And I was like, oh, this all makes sense. So I adhered all my little, my little snowmen. The gifts, pretty self-explanatory because it's two pieces per um, gift. There's a large one and a small one and the dies are attached. The trees, I did extras of because I had so much fun with these. <laughs> Yeah, and you guys would know from a video I just did the other day with the foiled trees and how I was like zhuzhing them up with bling. Same idea. I don't know. I, I get a kick out of this. So I die cut several trees because I was like, you know what? I have enough. This is easy enough. I can do on the outside and inside of the card. Why not? So yeah, again, I die cut just all the little scraps with, there's one wafer die that cuts all the baubles, which you could also use for snowballs, by the way. Again, if I'd had the time everything you could you know you could create a scene and they could be throwing snowballs at each other oh, love it anyway die cut those and all I did was flip them over so everything was face up because you know when you die cut pieces of cardstock the the back side gets you know wrinkly and and whatever from your cutting plates so I had all the those pieces flipped up on my work surface and then I just used my embellishment wand and just went doot, 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 with the glue picked up the pieces with the embellishment wand pressed them into the glue done took no time so I decorated all these trees in record time, <laughs> even with the sped up video editing. So I did all of that. So all of my die cuts are now assembled, adhered. I've set them aside for my sentiments. I am using the um, Tim Holtz holiday sketchbook stamp set. And I just took all the sentiments from that set and I am lining them up on a piece of black cardstock in my Misty. So I've taken the foam insert out of my Misty because these are cling rubber um, stamps. And then I used my anti-static powder tool on the cardstock, inked up these stamps with clear embossing ink, stamped them a couple times to make sure I got all those sentiments stamped, coating them all with detail white embossing powder. And even though I used my anti-static powder tool, I still managed to get like probably it was most likely fingerprints you know, picking up the stray embossing powder. So I just use a little brush and even my little die pick to just get rid of the random ones. It doesn't have to be perfect. I, that's kind of what I like about these sentiments as they're like handwritten or, or they look handwritten. So I just removed the, the excess embossing powder, melted all these with my heat tool. I wiped off the excess anti-static powder with a cloth and then I used my trimmer. And again, this is the Tim Holtz trimmer this counts towards if it's still in stock honestly again I can't keep track of it all <laughs> too many things but again the Tim Holtz tools count towards the promotion you know you order $25 worth of Tim Holtz products you get the free chili and freezy die set which I need to get my hands on that set it's it's just cute I don't know there's something I, I've said I love snowmen and these ones really their non-perfectness you know what I mean? Because, you know, generally it's like perfect circles, but these ones are just lumpy and I don't know. I really like them. So yeah, I'll have all links. All the links will be below the video. So 
I trim down all of these sentiments with my paper trimmer. Um, because I'm more comfortable with that than using like a craft knife and a ruler. I'm always fascinated when I watch other creators do that. Cause I'm just like, I am so clumsy. <laughs> I am just so clumsy. I, yeah, no, no. Anyway, assembling my little scenes. This is where I started adhering there. I left their little arms off until I had them adhered to my scenes because there's so like all the different little versions of the arms and you know I didn't know where I wanted to put them so all of these panels are just desert storm cardstock and I've already cut them down to smaller than a2 size so these are actually like three and three and a, three quarters by five inches I think to give you an idea of the size of these wafer dies and I just created little scenes I added a tree added a couple of the gifts I added twig and stump then I added their arms and just had their arms kind of going all over the place and then there was the little snowflakes in the set that I die cut from like white cardstock and a light aqua cardstock. And just kept going along until I had created these three little scenes with all of these little characters. So after I've got everything adhered, I just kept putting them underneath my Misty just to have something to hold everything in place for a couple minutes, you know, let that glue dry. And then once I've got all of that like all three of my scenes, I'm of course going to add splatter. You know, again, I was like, oh, texture paste and, and ink blending. And like, um, you know, there's a million directions you can go. That's the whole joy of card making. But I decided I was like, nope, I like the craft background. It just, it makes the white pop. And then I was like, oh, and then I can add splatter. Because <laughs> I know the last few cards and I've, I've said this. When I post several videos in a row and I don't use splatter, I, I more than make up for it. Always. Always. You know it's coming. So I got everything adhered. And then I'm going to do two splatters, of course. So I've got all three scenes here. Stuck them in my splat box. My first splatter is going to be Ranger Perfect Pearl Powder. And like I always say with this, I can only speak to Ranger Perfect Pearl Powder specifically. This powder has a binder in it that is reacted with water so it does not come off other mica powders or shimmer powders or things like that i cannot say anything like i can't you know i've you know people will leave comments and ask things it's like uh, you know there's wiped off do you use a spray sealant no i never use a sealant again perfect pearl powder has the binder so i splatter it it'll dry but it, and it's not coming off it's not going anywhere other powders on the market or what you got m might not work the same. You might need to mix them with something, I, I but I don't know. So that's why I'll just stick with the Perfect Pearl Powder because it's quick and easy and I don't have to think about it. So I mixed some of that with water, used my fan brush, splattered that heavily on all these backgrounds. Then I took my white gouache, added that to my palette, added a bit of water. And again, I am going to splatter the ever-living daylights out of these. <laughs> I started with a light hand and then I'm like more because it works. It just works. You know, I got my little snowman and it's snowing with the die cut snowflakes and then the splatter. It just works. And I had fun with it. So I did this all purposely before adding the sentiments because I didn't want to get a bunch of splatter on the sentiments. So it was easier just to leave them off, do all of this splattering. And then, um, yeah. Uh, once the splatter's dry, which doesn't take very long because I'm not adding like big blobs of it, it will be ready for me to add sentiments. And then my card bases are going to be top folding A2 size cards. So four and a quarter by five and a half inches made from just Simon's smooth white cardstock. And, bless the, and that's why I cut those desert storm panels slightly smaller. So the card base will just kind of frame it out. And that's also why I had little bits here and there hanging off the desert storm just gives it a little extra something. So splatter's dry, card bases are ready. I'm going to adhere all of my sentiments that I had heat embossed and I just kind of sprinkled them randomly throughout these cards. Like the one was just perfect, you know, let it snow. So I had stump holding that one. And after I adhered the sentiments, I then adhered the panels to the fronts of these cards. And then for the insides of the cards, I had those trees that I decorated. I also happen to have extra... Uh, small gifts because I got a ton so many scraps I used up it felt good so had my little gifts my trees the 
um, second sentiment because that stamp set, that holiday sketchbook set had six sentiments that I white heat embossed because I was like, perfect. Three for the outside, three for the insides. And then I added a little companion sentiment. This is the um, Tim Holtz Darling Christmas set. And there was just a bunch of really good little sentiments. So I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to stamp those on the inside as well. Like, why not? These could be technically like very clean and simple cards themselves the way I did the insides this time. But you guys know me. Sometimes it's just a simple sentiment stamped on the insides. And other times I create entire scenes with sub sentiments, <laughs> whatever, you know, whatever's working. So those little sub sentiments from the Darling Christmas set, I was stamping with Simon's Cappuccino ink. So I just picked it up with uh, my acrylic block, adhered the little gift, adhered my little decorated, decorated Christmas tree, and then the white heat emboss sentiment, and then stamped that sub sentiment with the cappuccino ink. And then I'm going to pair these cards with some metallic sea glass envelopes. And that's it. Didn't add any bling. Didn't need it. Because honestly, honestly, you totally could. You could skip adding the, the die cut pieces to the tree and do bling, you know, all that sky's the limit but I had fun making these I hope you guys enjoyed the video like I said I have links below I will update my social media if they're able to get this die set on its own available because right now you can only get it with the big bundle it's a beautiful bundle beautiful die sets and there's like so many wafer dies oh but yeah everything else though is linked below and I'll have a link to the Tim Holtz category so you guys can check it out if you're interested all of that um That'll be linked below as well as, of course, a link to my blog post. In the blog post, it's picture links. I'll have an info about the special um, going on while supplies last, all that stuff. That'll be in the blog post, linked directly below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up and commenting. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.